Yeah, hello and I welcome you for this AWS Solutions Architect Associate. This is module 15 and I am exploring about this capstone project. See here uh, when I click this, this is 100 points and this is very very important project. I just go through this project. Before that, I just start this project already. It is in uh, yellow. It will take another minute's time to get the project ready. I mean, yeah, this is also a metered project. It contains about 60 US dollars. You need to basically consume only about 60 dollars. So here in this, uh, like when the timer is also there, three hours of time is given. Okay, so what we need to do, suggestions to avoid overspending. He has given very clear instructions. We need to follow that. Launch only the number of EC2 instances you need. Delete no longer you need any data. Typically, it is a computer type resource such as EC2, RDS, Cloud9 or NAT gateway that you need to. Okay, stop the NAT gateways as needed, as needed as if you don't really require. So use T3 medium Linux instance and select T2 small uh, RDS instance with 20 GB storage left running in a month's time. Use NAT gateway left running, only one NAT gate processing 1 GB per month. So this is the approximate estimates about the bill, about 65 US dollars should happen in one go okay so the environment navigation is that once you start the lab you have this uh, resources already created so yeah once you go into the resources yes uh, what is needed is uh, by the end of the project you should be able to apply the architectural design principles that you learn deploy a php application that runs the amazon ec2 instance create a database instance that php application can query Create a MySQL database from a structured query lamp. That is the dump file which is given in this particular link uh, at the bottom. Update application parameters in an AWS system manager parameter store. Secure the application to prevent public access to uh, backend system. So this is the requirement. We need to create a website with multi availability zone and also with the load balancer. With the load balancer, the instructions are very clear. So here, this is the environment which is uh, given. And finally, the solution requirements is something like uh, provide a secure MySQL database uh, for an administrator user, run it into micro instance, provide high availability load balancer, store in the systems manager, the connection information, and provide automatic scaling to use the launch template. So these are the points which you need to uh, put in uh, the systems manager parameter store. The deliverables is the deploy a PHP application that meets the system requirements outlined above. Submit a diagram that illustrates your solution. So submit a written summary that design decisions that you made to archive the result. Okay, so this is the dump file where you can download this particular one. Yes, it is MySQL and it also contains a dump of uh, your website 6.1 MB. Okay, I just downloaded it. It is there and should in the download folder okay so yeah and my lab is also ready it is green so first and foremost thing let us explore uh, the vpc and also the security groups so you see this one i also duplicate this one i'll keep it for vpc the other i use it for ec2 i'll confirm the requirements so in the vpc you see i'll just explore uh, you see in this VPC there are about uh, example VPC which is created which is already by default given and it is 10 0 0 slash 16. Just note down the subnets and all the information what you have. So you have a private subnet 2, private subnet 1, public subnet 2 and public subnet 1 in this example VPC. So I note, I just made a simple note also keep a notepad aside. Uh, so you see this one this private subnet 1 contains 10 0 0 slash 23 private subnets are slash 23 and public subnets are slash 24 you see this one public subnet 2 1.0 and of course public subnet 1 0.0, .0 slash 24 yeah i also show you this uh, we have an internet gateway also that is uh, internet gateway which is attached to example vpc example igw is the internet gateway and you see this one and you see uh, you have a route table which is already connected to your example VPC private route table and public route table with two subnets clearly created. Okay, and let us also go through the security groups. 
we have this bastion security group inventory security app inventory app example dbsg and albsg so these are the four uh, security groups which you already have and this is all example vpc these are all confirmed very very important please make a note so in your ec2 also you have one bastion uh, server i mean running linux server running you see this particular one which is uh, uh, having this public ip as well as your private ip okay so let us start our lab so first go to this uh, load balancer so i am in ec2 uh, yeah you can do it in any order i create this uh, load balancer so see this i click this load balancer create load balancer please follow the steps very clearly application load balancer i'm selecting okay create and in this uh, you can give the load balancer name probably i'll give this anand elb okay so i note down this one in my notepad also create load balancer the name is anand elb okay this is internet facing and ipv4 so network mapping should be done to your example vpc example vpc and select this uh, public subnets okay remove this uh, subnets sorry public subnets this is 1a public subnet and of course in 1b select this public subnet too okay so scroll down in security groups select this uh, application load balancer which is already created scroll down lbsg use this one okay listeners you need to create a listener select a target group it opens the next window okay instances i can use instances maybe a target group name i can give as my target group any name you can give target group okay http port 80 that's okay example vpc rest all is more or less same and say scroll down tags are optional ensure that you are in example vpc that is most important and choose next so there are about four steps i think two steps yes you have uh, we can uh, select this instance basically you can select this instance and i can give it here give it. yeah and then create a target group so this target group is created successfully go back to your previous window just try to refresh you will see your my target group okay and back to you can say rest all things are same no accelerator nothing required all things are okay create load balance okay you have successfully created you your load balancer it will take couple of minutes time to get your load balancer endpoint yeah it is still in provisioning okay now uh, leave it as it is we go to this the next step which is uh, uh, what we need to do is uh, auto scale okay so let us create this let us go to launch configuration or yeah please select this auto scaling groups create an auto scaling group Uh, this group name we can give maybe my auto scaling group or something like that my okay launch template you can select example lt you select that you can say you can see the configuration this is your mid walk key and example t to micro so this is this is already created and say next so there are about seven steps which are there 
So in your network, select your VPC as example VPC. And in your subnet, select public subnet 1 and public subnet 2. Public subnet 2 and public subnet 1. Yes. Instance requirements is done. This and say next now, next we need to select the load balancer. So okay. So attach to an existing load balancer. Okay. So the load balancer target group is my target group. Yeah, use 300 seconds, leave it. Rest all you can leave as it is. Just say next. Uh, yeah, please select this uh, maximum as uh, 2. This is the desired capacity 1, minimum 1, maximum as 2. And scroll down. No target, nothing, leave it as it is. Select next. Okay, notifications. Okay, you need not give anything. Tags. No, you can leave it. That's all. This is the review. Yeah, perfect. Just say create an auto scale group. By this time, you can see this one uh, updating capacity. You can also see after a few minutes one instance also should be ready. I think by this time this load balancer should have been available. Yes, this is active. Just copy this endpoint that is more important for us. See this? This is your DNS name, this is your endpoint. I copy it. Okay, just wait for a couple of seconds. This is provisioning. Yeah, desired is one. Instance is already one. So what I can do, I can go to the EC2 dashboard also. You can see one instance is already getting deployed very soon. Yeah, example app will be deployed. Now this DNS name which is there, yeah, which. Uh, endpoint which I had copied this particular one after a few minutes the website should start functioning it will take approximately 3 to 5 minutes you will get an example uh, research organization site loads so it still will take some more time The instance is still in initializing. I think the website started. You can see this example site that is social research organization. The website is ready from the load balancer. Okay, but still there are something more which you need to do. See, if you start asking a query, it doesn't answer because there is no database attached. So let us go to the database section. So how to do that? See, you see this? When I say mobile phones, when you say submit, the query doesn't answer query doesn't answer connection error there is no database so leave this uh, section else so go back to your rds go back to your rds so we will be creating in this rds i mean database server my preferably mysql yeah okay so before i create my database i need to create a db subnet group also so go to the subnet group, create, if there is not db subnet group, create a db subnet group. Maybe you can give a name as maybe db subnet
group anything I give just make a note the description also I give the same just ensure to select example VPC and this is more important availability zones in you can say 1A and 1B minimum 2 should be selected yeah and yeah the subnets should be uh, in private that is uh, subnet this is slash 23 is private here also slash 23 is private private subnet 1 and private subnet 2 are selected you say create it should take a minute a second time yes it is complete now it's good time for us to create our database go to the database create database be careful in selecting the options here still loading yeah you can select a create database with the following options I mean standard create MySQL I am taking I am choosing MySQL scroll down mm, select this developer and test don't select production uh, this version is also okay select this multi agent DB instance multi agent not cluster okay identifier as maybe you can say example example you can leave admin okay you can leave admin as it is all right that's required uh, password i give maybe any any password i give star star i'm giving just remember str str select only burstable class don't select any other class the availability is only for t3 uh, micro nothing else store is okay I'll select SSD GP2 and ensure you are selecting only 20 GB is enough for us. 20 GB. It is clearly given in our instructions. You, if you want, you can enable auto scaling. Yeah. Okay. Don't connect. Use IPv4. VPC. Select example VPC. DB subnet is also already mentioned. DB subnet group which you have created. Public access is no. Okay choose VPC security groups delete this particular one and select uh, you can say example DB example DB this is the security group which I am selecting you should see like this please remember this is very very important this is your remove the default one and select this particular one and uh, rest all are ok password authentication uh, not required enable enhanced monitor and expand this uh, additional configuration initial database name uh, you can select as example db example db okay rest all is okay enable automated backups not required this is no more no not required for us uh, enable encryption that's okay Yeah, there is a IAM role also linked. No, no need to. Uh, you can leave as it is. Auto minor uh, version upgrade. Choose this one. Twenty nine dollars for this particular RDS instance. That's okay. So I think all these instructions are very clear. So once these instructions are clear, you can do. You can create. You can create your database. Okay. So this database creation should take a couple of minutes. So you see this example, the DB identifier, db3 micro. So it is creating, it will take 3 to 5 minutes also time. So once this is created, we will get uh, the database endpoint. Okay. So now, meanwhile, what we will do, uh, this screen is no more required. I will go with system manager. So the next task is systems manager. I will update systems manager here I will leave this one go get started parameter store yeah 
under application management you have this parameter store update the following parameters create the following parameter you can say slash example database provide standard string and the value is example db this is the database which we have given name create a parameter okay more parameters slash example username the username which you have created is admin remember while creating this uh, database we have given as admin give that name only create a parameter example more password also we need to enter slash example ESSWRD these are system parameters and provide the value str str this is the connecting create and we need to create one more actually we need to wait till the endpoint comes that is uh, example endpoint endpoint once this is ready we'll paste it here we'll paste it here okay so now uh, it's good time for us to uh, visit our bastion server so in the capstone project you see this one in i details sorry not here yeah aws details you see this uh, there is a ppk key okay right okay you see this one there is a key file there is a key file secret access and also the total value this is the private key which is there just copy into the memory just copy into the memory secret access key and access key all these things needs to be copied okay in a such key again this one in a such key just show this particular one this value needs to be copied begin rsa private key till the last end of it keep this one as it is now go back to your ec2 this is your ec2 this is your bastion bastion server uh, what you can do is that you can connect or you can also connect through this uh, uh, ec2 uh, putty but here I want to connect to through this EC2 instance connect. You should get a dollar prompt if you are doing that. Okay. The first and foremost thing you can do sudo yum update hyphen y. Yeah, then nothing to update, that's fine. So just say VA. and just say a for append okay and paste the value paste the private key same thing right and save this file as uh, maybe labs user dot pm this is a private key pen file okay you see there should be a file like this now chmod 400 and our file in labs you say that file. okay this task is done now we need to connect to the server connect to the server of uh, what we call as uh, the ec2 instance what happens i go back to this uh, ec2 instances this particular one example app this is the server which has been created using this load by i mean uh, auto scaling so connect this uh, particular one okay Co copy this uh, private ip now from this private ip what we can do as such hyphen i and i'll log in into this particular server so name of the pem key is labs user pen and ec2 hyphen user at the rate of your private ip which i have copied okay if i do it correctly i should be able to
so it's not connecting what we do we need to add the security group okay so for that uh, go back to your ec2 instances yes uh, see this uh, security group is that security group yeah and uh, select this inventory this particular one go to that security and uh, you can see edit inbound rules edit inbound rules so you can say add a rule add a rule you can say allow this ssh and in custom you can select this uh, as bastion security group what is that custom okay select this bastion security group yeah this one you should see like this sg hyphen so and so and save rules okay this is done fine now go back see earlier it was not connecting just now let us try to connect yeah it is connecting yes permanently added fine fantastic when you say ll you should see this dump of mysql dump of mysql so now we are almost ready okay so let us let us also get this endpoint by this time this should be ready let me check so still creating modifying let us wait for a couple of more minutes you can select this uh, example yeah you can see this this is endpoint i just copy maybe yes database endpoint also update in systems manager which you need to do here the same one and say create a parameter yeah this part is done in uh, parameter creation yeah go back to what we call as uh, this particular we need to uh, uh, now get this database to the uh, rds server so what i do here mysql hyphen u admin is my username hyphen p password it will prompt for password hyphen hyphen post uh, you need to give your rds endpoint which, which is there already here example okay and my database name is uh, example db so i want to import this data uh, where is that country data import okay sql file into this example db so if all these things correct yeah this should wait we should wait till the creation is complete so if it is complete you should see it is available modifying just wait otherwise the database may not go uh, here may not be imported okay password i try yeah it has gone successfully it has gone successfully if you want you can check uh, you can say my yeah perfect you can say show databases yeah it is there example db use example db database modified select district yeah there is a country data final okay 
yeah you should see the records if all these things are successful yes the database is successfully imported imported okay you can exit this is only a validation test verification test okay so now the final test is there if there is no appear, no errors which are appearing you can go back to your website this is your website okay just try to refresh once again the query maybe you ask for a mobile phone the same database should come yes it is coming it's coming means our website is proper it is connecting to the database server so maybe you can say submit yeah it's coming congratulations so this is all about this particular one so your server everything your i mean see once again the requirements so all these things deliverables we have deployed a php application that matches the system requirements yeah we need to submit the diagram but first of all let us check this particular one whether we get the full grade or not okay so once you are done you can say submit but don't end the lab until unless you see three by three so i'm submitting yes checking for the grade Yeah, you can see this uh, total score is 3 by 3. So that completes our exercise. So submit the diagram that illustrates your solution and submit a written summary of design decisions that you made to achieve your result. Okay. So just let me show you the diagram which I have completed. So you see this is the final diagram. You can see this cloud and also your VPC, your public subnet 2 and n, 1 and 2 and private subnet 1 and 2. We have deployed the primary RDS instance with the replica with two availability. I mean with two uh, multi availability zone and also your EC2 web server in uh, what we call as application load balancer we have deployed in auto scaling also see this one this is the final diagram you can see this bastion ports communicates with the private subnets only and you see parameter store we have updated and also the inventory role also so yes this is the final update of uh, what we call the capstone project you have completed your project uh, before closing yes you can end lab So the resources will automatically get what we call as dismantled. Yeah, congratulations everyone. Okay, for yeah, you can easily refresh this particular one bridging. You should see this capstone project should be done. Okay, thank you and bye.